welcome back to my channel my name is push aka the creative queer the masculine queen back on your screen with another video um yeah it's been a long time since i've had to say that or i've had i've been saying that i've been working on my new channel please click on the icon and watch um my new channel and go click on and subscribe on that new channel this is a channel where i'll be taking you through my closet it's called what's in the closet it's a play obviously on the on the fact that i'm queer and queerness has to do with the closet right so please do check that channel out um yeah i'll be talking everything in terms of what i wear my style um outfit ideas the works halls looks lookbooks etc etc i'll be exploring all of that on that channel so do make sure that you after you watch this video you go to the end and you click on that channel and go to that video and support and grow that family as well um but for di for, ah, finding love in lockdown um yeah so i thought about this and um yeah finding love in lockdown um the world is 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 continuing the show must go on um the economy is trying to recover and i know our love lives are trying to also recover so this is how i would approach or how i'm approaching and some ideas that i am implementing in my life because the show must go on guys as this is what holy during lockdown i mean um so these are my tips and tips and tricks of how to find love during lockdown or if you're not looking for love whatever it is that you're looking for your conquest your lover your sexual partner your whatever during lockdown let's get into this video let's roll the bumper awesome. <laughs> all right so um where do i begin i think let me start on a personal note um you will know or may not you may may not know that um at the beginning of this lockdown actually um i got out of a relationship and um yeah that was that on that and obviously i was single and now i'm trying to navigate the dating space and trying to meet new people and mingle and mix and mingle and you know be one with my queer streets but obviously because of lockdown there are so many restrictions and the things that you can't do uh, personally i prefer getting to know somebody face to face rather than the back and forth chatting and the dms what is your favorite color what is this what is that what is that so asked around so um a friend of mine who has had some luck during this lockdown and has found some love or potential love um but i'm just so when i what do you do in the real life because it's not in quarantine she in lockdown and as far as when that so she was like step number one and rule number one is that you need to be active on social media social media is now the new socializing so if you are never um do with social media you are going to have to beef up your social media and you're going to have to show some presence and put yourself out there because darling that's the only way we going to see you right now so i'm not saying that you now need to cur curate your channel and make it look a certain way because you're trying to do a certain thing but it would be cool every now and again to snap yourself so that people are able to engage with you and interact with you and you know slide in the dms and get to know you that's number, number two tip number two is use your different social media platforms a personal preference for me is um is instagram i enjoy instagram a lot more than any of the other apps more than whatsapp more than twitter um thing on on instagram what i love about it is number one i don't have to give you my number in order for you to see my face you can see my face um you can go through my profile you can see what kind of person that i am you can infer all of those things and see if there's an initial um attraction the second thing that i enjoy about instagram is the fact that the functions and the dms and how they work to my advantage i'm able to send whoever my conquest is um and i use the word very loosely so don't come at me in the comments but i use um instagram a lot because of the snapping function when you're in your dms you are able to 
either send a snap or keep whatever snap or video that you're sending of yourself in the chat so there's also sort of so it's now you you you're able to share with somebody but because you don't know them too well you don't want that chat to kind of stay there like it's not going to be saved on their phone they can only um view it once or whatever so it's a great platform to be able to send nudes it's a great platform to be sending each other quirky videos during the day getting to know each other definitely very perfect another function that the uh, instagram dms have is voice notes i know the voice notes are a bit limited to one minute which is okay i mean i can send a couple of voice notes but i love the voice note a uh, function that um, instagram has you can hear somebody's voice for me personally i am petty enough to be turned off or not even <laughs> like somebody because of their voice like if your voice note game is not that great, I'm gonna be like, uh. so I think the voice note function is definitely perfect um, for those um, funny exchanges, and it gives some sort of like personality to the conversation rather than going on a back and forth conversation in the Twitter DMs. I mean, so it's about any favorite color, I'm going to ask questions. Also, the last thing that I enjoy, maybe not the last, there are many reasons I enjoy Instagram, is the fact that I'm not, it's a social media platform, but I'm not obliged to respond to you. Because if, for an example, if you're on WhatsApp, so Bubu Jogma was last seen on, dun, dun, dun. like WhatsApp is more personal and people take it more personally when you don't respond to a WhatsApp uh, message and you've blue ticked them. Um, so I don't know with with Instagram. It doesn't I don't feel the pressure to respond immediately I'll respond when I respond and it's not this back and forth of okay independent Okay, what pendulum what pendulum because guys whatsapp is a grave yard I'm coming to whatsapp though, but finish off finishing off Instagram. Yeah, I'd enjoy it definitely the fact that I don't there isn't this pressure to answer immediately and the last feature or function of instagram that i enjoy is the video chat the video it goes down in the video chats i enjoy the video chats because i can video chat you um without again giving you my number when i give you my number it's personal it means you have access to me whenever whenever because i have that one number and that's my only number it's my whatsapp number it's my every other number so if you have that number you have sort of access to me and to me it's it's too close for someone who I don't know or, or for someone who I'm trying to get to know. So Instagram is giving us that that aspect or that functionality of being able to video chat each other. And I think it's perfect. Other it's social seamless. media platforms that you can use, I guess, is to use Twitter. Again, like I'm saying, I don't really enjoy this platform um, because it's it's so monotonous. Is that the right word, John? monotonous i think is the word it's it's like there's this back and forth and then you don't answer but you're tweeting and they're looking at you like nappy like it's tedious like i mean i used it back in the day um i wouldn't say i was successful but for me yeah with twitter twitter is not where it's at to be quite honest but you can use it it's a social media platform you can use it um the other platform is whatsapp and i do not recommend whatsapp for whatsoever reason you can have your 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 partner your potential partner's number but don't don't be you can watch their statuses but don't be hollering at them on whatsapp unless mtambi you guys are going on a date that day and you need to say i'm here or i'm wherever and you're communicating that to them then that's okay but i don't think whatsapp is the ideal um social media dating a social media platform for dating also for me one tip is to be on a dating app uh tinder for the queers tinder and her yeah you be on those platforms you keep your conversation brief not brief but you give it a few days on the tinder or on that dating app and then you take it elsewhere because i don't think tinder again is not that interactive um you can't really like get to know somebody much on tinder it's just like um twitter so <clears throat> if you enjoy the conversation on on tinder then you can definitely take it to the next social media platform which my for dating and finding love during lockdown is be cognizant of other people's health 
mental health during this time this is a tough time for everybody and i think we've all had to adapt to the new way of living for some people myself included included my phone has also become a point of it's been a good and a bad it's, it's good in the sense that i can communicate with my family i can video chat them because i can't physically be with them and go home uh, during this time it's also a place of anxiety because i'm getting phone calls from work and i'm doing this and like everything is just everyone is communicating with me through this one device and you need to be cognizant that i'm not going to always respond to your dms i'm not always going to be be available when you need me to be available i think that's sort of the downside of it and sometimes that could be interpreted as i'm not interested so the best thing is to ask and to ask for permission and to ask for consent every step of the way don't be entitled once you're in somebody's dms and want them to respond on time if they don't respond take your l and you move don't make it too personal don't make it about yourself respect other people and their boundaries and always communicate with people ask questions where you need to ask questions ask for clarity what i do do is that i always ask somebody when they say something to me i'm like okay you're saying you want someone that you can trust i'm making an example what does trust look like for you so that they can explain further what that means to them because i think with communication in general we say things but we mean different things but what but by what we say so i could be saying to you that i need you to be able to communicate to me but we need to kind of zoom into that communication and see what kind of communication are we having cognizant of other people's mental health during this time be kind be lovely don't force yourself into people's dms yeah, those think. are my dating tips during lockdown finding love during lockdown i hope you guys do find love during this lockdown and you have stories to tell you'll be like when it's years from now and all of the shit show is over you'll be telling your children bana hey mama ko ke ndati bana naye ngela xesha kwakuthiwa hi lockdown hey lockdown ke mnana sasi ngakwazi ukuphuma you know you'll be telling your kids the story so i definitely wish you guys all the best of luck during this time i hope you find love during lockdown and if you are successful and you would like to go on a date with your significant other do go to my other channel and check out my outfit ideas for these types of dates should you then proceed from the social media platforms to then meeting in person yeah go click on that channel thank you so much for watching um we're on our way to 3000 subscribers and that's how that day i'm so excited for the channel thank you so much for watching don't forget to click and subscribe on what's in the closet to see what's in my closet but anyway until the next video peace middle east